Sentimental hogwash. Send for our mysterious Kiss Salicious Love Potion and find love, love, love. Kiss Salicious, kiss a lot. Do you love me? Do you not? Hello? I'd like to order a bottle of passion. I, I, potion. Potion. Oh, I'm getting tingly just thinking about it. Woohoo! It's here! No. Kissalicious love potion? This is some powerful stuff. Morning, Miss Meanie. What are you doing on my mailbox, then? Who's the cutest little cuddly waddly tusk puppy around? <laughs> no, 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 no! Don't move a muscle, Cupcake. I'm off to prepare our love nest. <laughs> kiss a licious, kiss a lot. Do you love me? Do you not? Oh, yeah, kiss a lot. Do you love me? Do you not? Woodpecker. <laughs> She's going gaga. Cuckoo, buggy for me. You must help me. She's your landlady. Let's see. I must help Wally. I must help Wally not. Help Wally. Help Wally not. Oops, sorry, Wally. Please, I give you anything. Just find a way to get her not to like me. Anything? Say, uh, free eats for a month, Wally? Are uh, you Gaga Cuckoo Buggy? You bankrupt me! Yo ho! Oh, Wally! Which sounds the most romantic? Ms. Meanie Walrus? Mrs. Wally Walrus? Or my fave, Mr. Wally Meanie? <laughs> okay, okay, free meals for a month, Woodpecker! <laughs> ah, she's just gonna think I'm booing her, Woodpecker! Do exactly as I say, and Meanie's love meter will go kaput in record time. How do I look, my cheesy enchilada? <laughs> nope! She's going to smooch me to death. Relax. Just say what I tell you. Whoa! Okay, now turn around and say, your dress reminds me of... Uh, the, uh, your dress reminds me of... A bad excuse for a circus tent. A bad excuse for a circus tent. Oh, Wally, you're so right about this dress. In it, I'm filled with laughter, fun, and frolic, just like a circus tent, my little love clown. <laughs> Come here. This is not working, Woodpecker. Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling, Swedish boy. You're as cuddly as a meatball, and my heart is filled with joy. She's a hard day's work, but I'm about to put in some overtime. Give it to her. Uh, e I got you this, Ms. Meanie. Oh, Wally, a gift for moi. Now to collect my payoff. Meatballs, here I come. Oh, I've always wanted a red herring coat. I bet everybody's doing dead fish in Paris this year. I simply love it. Yoinky doinky. Uh... Not so fast, biscuit beak. <laughs> She's more in love with me than ever. What does that tell you? Uh, there's no accounting for taste? No! It means your plan isn't working. Ah, uh, don't get your shorts in a bunch, Wally. Drastic women call for drastic measures. Walrus, you want a boogie? Your 
music unchained, Wally. Kiss a licious kiss a lot. Do you love me? Do you not? Wait, a love potion. Now they can both go gaga for each other. Hi, Wally. Drink this. What's happening? Good for four hours only. Uh-oh, Mimi's must be wearing off. Huh? Ooh, my little fjord dancer. Come to Volley. Help! What am I doing here? And what's that smell? Ick! That's me! What the... Help me! Help me! Oh, my spicy meatball. Help! You got to do something! Oh, uh, I'll be glad to find a way to take them off your hands, Ms. Meany. Uh, what's it worth to you? Free rent for a month? Six months. A year? Oh, How about installing a hot tub in my treehouse? Uh, a basketball hoop on my tree. What do you say? What do you say? Anything, Woodpecker! Anything! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to SmedleysLonelyHeartsClub.com. Are you looking for that special snuggle bun to cuddle up to and keep you warm on cold Arctic nights? Then let me and my love computer find the perfect match for you. We have hundreds of eligible EGA members. And my 100% patented compatibility program uh, inside this here love computer is the only surefire way to find the perfect someone for you. <laughs> this is what we in the computer business call a systems crash. Now you listen here, you little high-tech glitch. I feel a love bump coming for sure. I get your point. But I am the professional matchmaker and computer programmer hereabouts. Me and my love computer will determine who is right for you, little fella. Once you pay your $500 membership fee. Hmm, I guess it's true what they say. Love waits for no man. Now, now, little fella. She may not be your perfect match, and you can't let your heart go getting involved in, well, matters of the heart. A cyber high to you, Chilly Lily. Trust me. Mm. My love computer is working night and day to select the perfect match for you. But don't you worry your little heart, miss. Smedley the love doctor will not rest until he has found your soulmate. This is Smedley's Lonely Hearts Club .com. Logging off. And now it's time for you to take Smedley's patented compatibility test. Yup, me and my love computer had no trouble selecting the ideal match for you, little feller. According to my profile, she is warm to cuddle with, has a big heart, and a hearty appetite. Who is it? It's the mechanic of love from SmedleysLonelyHeartsClub.com, ma'am. Here with a dream date that is sure to create fireworks of plenty. Meet a more. If you love something, let it go. 
And if it comes back and blows up in your face, it's a penguin, all right. Yeah! As president of this here cyber match establishment, I will not rest until the perfect match has been matched. Me and my love computer have selected a new date for you, Penguin. She loves deep sea diving, haute couture fashions, and is not afraid to express her deep ocean emotions. La, 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 la. Oh, come here, you adorable penguin, you. Come to Mama. <laughs> Yup, nothing like a satisfied love connection. Hey, what are you? Oh, oh come back, my little love muffin. You and your lousy dating service. Love is like a rose, mostly thorny and full of owls. And that was definitely an owl. That does it. I've had enough of these two incompatibles trying to thwart me and my all-knowing love computer. For your own good, I'm gonna deprogram your internal love computer. There are hundreds of applicants you can choose from, and my compatibility computer says she is not the one for you. Your resistance is wearing down. Select the perfect date and Smedley the love mechanic will hook you up. Monitor one, seven, 22, nine, four, Hold on one puppy-loving minute. Huh? Ah, you get it, you little heartbreaker, you! Come back here, you penguin-sized Romeo and Juliet! Now there's the kind of man who can comb the hair on my back any day. The love doctor's in, and I want the first appointment. Well, I guess it's true what my mama always said after all. Don't even try to fight love, cause then it'll beat you every time. Special delivery for Miss Meanie. An invitation to my high school reunion. Oh, I wonder if Biff Buff will be there. <sighs> I'll show that no good so and so. I've done just fine after our breakup, but I gotta go with a date who'll make him jealous with a capital J. <laughs> According to your lease, Section 73, Article 12, said woodpecker must accompany me, said landlady, to any and all social outings as my date, if I so request, or else said woodpecker, you will be evicted. <laughs> you don't said. But don't get any romantic notions, cuddle buns. This is strictly a platonic business deal. Got it? Our target is my old flame, Biff Buff. When he sees how much fun I still am on a date, after all these years, he'll eat his jock heart out for dumping me back in high school. 
Now look, Debonair Woodpecker, you and me are gonna be the dream date of this reunion. Nightmare date's more like it. It's meanie and date. That's spelled D-A-T-E. Ha! Well, what do you know? Maybe this party won't be such a drag after all. <laughs> Mimi, you okay? I'll go to the gym and get you something to drink. Be back soon. Hold on, Woodpecker. You're here to make Biff jealous, so you don't go anywhere without me by your side. Got it? Uh, right. So, how about we go to the gym together for some fun? You know, to make Biff jealous? You like games? Well, let's go play Guess My Little Walker combination. Well, go, go ahead, good picker. Try again, try again. No one ever guesses on the first 300 tries. Oh, wait till Biff sees me here. Oh. Why, you little dickens. Didn't I tell you this was fun? Ah, oh, I can hardly stand it. It's jammed, Meanie. I'll have to go get help. Don't you dare! Leave me alone! I was president of the Judo Club. Don't you know? Woodpecker, don't poop out on my party. It's him! It's Biff! Biff always wore a checkered sports coat. Drats. That boy always could get away from me. Well, let's find him so I can ask him his secret. <gasps> hey, Meanie, let's page Mr. Wright. Biff Buck to the art room. Biff Buck to the art room. Now! Oh, good thinking, Woodpecker. Keep it up and I may even give you a rent reduction. This Woodpecker's date night is just about over. <laughs> Huh? Oh, Ms. Meanie, what a horrible accident. I'll get someone down in the gym uh, to help. Don't move a muscle till I return. Fun and games, here I come. trying to be the centerpiece of attention, huh, Meanie? <laughs> She's the centerpiece, and so is her little friend. <laughs> I say, chaps, laugh if you must, but Meanie here is the centerpiece of my very existence. <sighs> My castle would not be such without Milady there to watch over it and see that all things run as they must. Wait, you two live in a castle? Mm -hmm. oh, 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 Woodpecker! Me, Castle A. Sue Castle! I am Lord Crinkle. Perhaps you've heard of me? And I will not stand to have the likes of you be smirching my meanie's character with your <laughs> cheap laughter. Choose your weapon. Ha! Uh, we didn't know, Lord Crinkle. We shall duel to the finish for my fair meanie's honor. Oh. Uh, we were just kidding you, Lordship. <laughs> He bought it hook, line, and woodpecker, Woody! Can we go have some fun now, Miss Meanie? 
You bet! We're gonna go to the Industrial Film Festival together! The Ice Cube exhibit on Sunday! Oh, I know this great little dim sum bingo parlor! Oh, I tell ya, the fun is just <laughs> <laughs> Don't go away! I'll be back soon with another cartoon! <laughs> Here's the weather report. The bad news, it's 120 degrees in the new day sun. Out, ya mundo. Ow, ow, ooh, ooh, ow, ow, ooh, ee, ow, ooh, ow, ow. <laughs> but the good news, it's only 110 in the shade. So try to stay cool any way you can, baby. It is hot out here. Or is that just me in these tight trunks, hmm? <laughs> It's mine. <laughs> it's my shade. I got here first. I saw it before you. Fine. You have this shade. I'm going into the pool, you bad. <laughs> Public welcome. That means me. Sorry, you can't come in here. What do you mean? The sign says public welcome. Not today. <laughs> Pool's closed for synchronized swimming practice. Well, what do you know, Coach? We're synchronized swimmers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the, uh, uh, we're twin sons of different mothers, you bet. Uh, we do everything alike, yeah. I don't think so. Yow! Say, that's not bad. Please, please, pretty please, with meatballs on top. With meatball pizza on top. Well. I could use one more swimmer on the team. Only one of you will make it and get to stay in the water, while the other one will be out on his backside in the baking hot street. Got it? Good. Go! <laughs> team trunks, towels, swim caps. Suit up, ladies. Now, let's move it and sink. <laughs> Say, Wally, help you with your cap? <laughs> Yeah, sure. Real funny, Woodpecker. Hey, newbies! Remember what I said. One of you will make the team, the other one will be out on your ear. And if I catch either of you pulling any more shenanigans, you're both out! Our cue girls! Walruses and woodpeckers, too!
My finish. No, mine. <laughs> Her. Yeah, who needs the pool? There's no water there anyhow. <laughs> you know, Woodpecker, together I think we're two cool cucumbers. <laughs> Sergeant, I have good news. You'll be receiving your first recruit today. Sir, thank you, sir. I trust you'll be on guard at all times. Sir, I will, sir. Nothing will get by me. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> yep, barracks are all squared away and... Hmm? What's this? Hmm, what do we have here? A pint-sized private. Hmm, must be the new recruit. A lazy recruit! <laughs> this ain't no summer camp! Ten! What? Hmm, you're a snappy dresser. But where's your uniform, little buddy? No uniform? There we go. All field dressed and ready for action. So, get on the field. Now! Move it, move it, move it! There. Only working soldiers get into the barracks now. And I can't think of a better task than digging foxholes. It's a fundamental of core training. So, start digging foxholes! That boy's gonna do me proud. Solid digging. Good dirt placement. This is more of a tunnel than a foxhole. Wait a minute. You slacker! You're gonna be a hard case, I can tell. And the only way to break a hard case is with hard work. Now put on your pack and march, soldier! You need to learn discipline. So, you can't leave this area until you do this. <laughs> but let's make it a little more interesting for you. Come on, son. Show me what you got. Way to be innovative, soldier. Mmm. <laughs> Smells like the mess hall's cooking up something good today. I do not have to take this. I outrank him. You say that, soldier? Looks like a snowball, right? Well, it ain't. This is the core sacred weapon. The Skeeter Bomb. You turn this down, and 10 seconds later, boom! A cloud of mosquitoes breaks out. It's the last thing the enemy would expect down here in the cold Antarctic. Skeeters. Now for a little target practice. Annihilate the targets on the firing range. This is what the core is all about.
No, 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 you missed the target entirely. You hit the bunker. Oh. Ah, it's coming! Get it! Get it! You're coming with me to a place where sleeping is not an option, soldier! I am gonna personally make sure you do this exercise correctly. You'll be in my sight the whole time, cause you're jumping with me. Another two miles, and we jump! Wait! What are you waiting for? Pull the car, soldier! I said pull the car! You want to sleep, huh? You'll never sleep under my command again, soldier, because there'll be nowhere left to sleep! <laughs> I got you! I win! I win! I win! <laughs> Sergeant Hogwash! What is the meaning of this? Be my skis, okay? Uh, I just saw that blow up the base, sir! You what? Guards! No more sleeping, and no more having base kaboom! Oh, come for Louis! Oh, Louis! <laughs> so withstanding that pig's command, I'm promoting you to base drill sergeant. I commend you on your bravery, soldier. Carry on, soldier. <sighs> New recruit, P-Bear, reporting for duty, Sarge. What are my orders of the day? Yes, sir, sir. Uh, right away, sir. Chart. I always buy slices here. Well, I just purchased and bought this establishment. So that's an old sign. Pizzatorium. We deliver a delicious pizza pie in five minutes or it's free. I said I want a slice of pizza. Could you hold Uno Momentum, poor favor? Oh, yeah! Uh -huh. One free pizza coming up. <laughs> Pizzatorium! We deliver a delicious pizza pie in five minutes or your pizza is free! Pizza with everything on it delivered to this address. Got it. <laughs> um, how mysterious. Be 
around here about, but I'm gonna deliver this pizza on time or I'm not. <laughs> Dapper Denver Dooley, pizza pie in the sky deliverologist. <laughs> Dapper Denver Dooley, pizza pie in the sky his delivery. But there's still time. My van, jetpack fuel, and of course, my tip. <laughs> no money? Well, then you'll work it off. Yep, guaranteed delivery in five minutes. No problemo. One pack up! Hit the Skyway Woodpecker! Gee, Dooley, can I just have one slice of pizza for the road? Well, okay. But you gotta eat it raw, Smarty Feathers. <gasps> now deliverize that pie! <laughs> I gotta remember to take them outside first. Just how I like my pizza. With a view. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> Tough 
not, huh? Huh? The perfect nutcracker. Say, Wally, neighbor old buddy old pal of mine, can I borrow that clamp there? No. Can't you see I'm putting together a Swedish fjord skimmer for my nephew, Vili? It's his birthday. Now go away! Um, what's all that gooey stuff, Wally? Don't mess with it. This is super sticky, extra strength Swedish model glue. Hey, would you look at that fjord? There. I don't see any. Hey, wait a minute. What are you up to, woodpecker? No good something, I can feel it in my bones. Whoa. Now get out of here before I get mad. That Swedish nut job still got my nut. Over the ocean and through the bay, I send you to Sweden for Billy's birthday today. Cover the eyes with patches of green, then open my wallet without being seen. Uh, what's going on here? I don't have time for your shenanigans, Woodpecker. I have to mail this to Sweden today. Ah, take it easy, Wally. I'll handle this. Good as new, see? Oh, get out of here! Get off. What's the big idea? <laughs> now you've done it, Woodpecker. We're stuck together, but good. Oh, no. I'm not staying stuck to you. Give me back my tusks. Eh, don't get your shorts in a bunch. I'll get us help. Ooh, ooh, I don't have time for this monkey business. I got to get that present mailed. Ooh. Hello, hardware store? Is there such a thing as super sticky, extra strength Swedish model glue unglue? Because I'm stuck to my neighbor! <laughs> We'll be right there. <laughs> Wally, old buddy. We gotta head downtown to the hardware store. No, we go uptown to the post office. Downtown. Uptown. Downtown. Uptown. The hardware store is three blocks that way. They're going to the post office. Three blocks this way. Hardware store. Post office. Hardware store! Yep. Post office! <laughs> Enough! Huh? 
Peanut butter got your tongue or something. Okay, I've seen enough of this freak show. No wait! If one package to Sweden, yeah? No! I'll repackage it with some packing peanuts. Just once, I'd like a normal day. for me! Uncle! You come to play piggyback like with your neighbor Rudy, yeah? Oh, oh sticky! <laughs> uncle, Uncle, how do I get started? Oh, oh he sticks to me! <laughs> oh, you woodpecker, look come what on, you've done now! Where's your birthday spirit? You're come ruined Billy's really birthday. from Smedley's Scrumptious Frozen Fish Dinners. Howdy, are you a hungry TV watcher? Let me show you how I fast freeze all that great taste into my frozen dinners. I use only the most modern freezing methods available to man a dog. This here is liquid nitrogen. Whatever y'all do, do not try this at home. <laughs> Smedley's frozen fish dinners. Meanwhile, I'll search for a new freezing technique. That won't leave me broke. Debt seven thousand three hundred. Current cash zero. You owe money in seventeen states and the Antarctic is the perfect place to find the newest fast freezing techniques that will succeed where my latest ideas have failed. Hmm, I could have sworn I heard something. Huh? Now, I definitely don't remember that there windsock. Owning a frozen dinner franchise can be a mighty chilly business. People will stop at nothing to steal your fast freezing secrets. The ice here in the Antarctic is the most frigidest ice in the world. And cold contact is my newest freezing technique. These here ice blocks will quick freeze my dinners faster than a bug in a blizzard. <laughs> now hold on one ice picking minute here, small fry. Special delivery. Send this pest to the remotest corner of the world. Now, if I place my dinner right here, 
the frigid wind chill factor from this here fan will blow on it. Then, when the thermometer drops to here, my dinners will be frozen solid. chill factor from this here fan will make the mercury in that there thermometer drop faster than a bad chin tuck. Hmm, looks like I'll need more wind chill than I first thunk. Long underwear, here I come. Right there, you snowbound bamboozler. You got no right taking this here food before it's properly frozen, and no right taking it, period, question mark. Do I make myself clear as an ice cube? Oh, little feller, say. You really are a fan of Smedley's frozen fish dinners. 485,000 dollars for Smedley's frozen fish dinners from the Igloo Emporium. 96 cents. You gotta understand, I'm just trying to find the best method to fast freeze all that tasty freshness into my frozen dinners. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Why, of course! Who would know better? The secrets of fast freezing than a penguin. One for you. And one for me. One for you. And one for me. One for you. And one for me. Yep. Like my Uncle Fretz always used to say, you can lead a penguin into water, but it takes one smart dog to make him fish for you. Nothing a personality transplant couldn't cure. Any fool can see I'm sick and weak and near death's door. <laughs> I'm telling you for the last time, Ms. Meanie, you're not sick. It's all in your head. And you're a quack, Dr. Quack! I'm a poor, sick lady who needs... Sap, sap! What picker? Get over here! <laughs> According to our rental agreement, you have to run errands and care for me whenever I'm sick. <laughs> or you're out on your tail feathers. Ah, fooey. You're not sick, Miss Meanie. I heard that doctor say it's all in your head. I am sick, I tell ya. <laughs> My skin's gone all saggy. I'm all run down! And that's only the beginning. Ugh. Uh, uh, the first thing I need you to do is to go to the pharmacy. Give this to the pharmacist. It lists all my symptoms. He should be able to recommend something. Well, don't just lie there. Get hopping! Quick! I 
need something to cure all the symptoms in this book. Now you go back to that pharmacy and... No, please, don't make me go back there again. Hmm. Say, Miss Meanie, did I ever tell you I know what? lots of secret home remedies? What kind of home remedies? You name it, my family knew how to cure it. Back strain, <laughs> neck pain, <laughs> even fixes for your ailing kitchen drain. Yes, sir, e bottle link. I can cure halitosis, symbiosis, and even the occasional fungus that shows up in my toeses. You're probably right. No one's been able to help me yet, so if you can't, no one can. Let's get to it. Nothing's ever gonna help her. I'm just gonna have to get myself fired so as I can go to the beach. <laughs> I'm about to share with you a secret cure for back pain. Whoa! Perfection! Oh, it hurts! But it's a good hurt, Woodpecker. Oh, it's good! Maybe even my home treatments aren't gonna work. You should fire me right now, Miss Meanie. Oh. Woodpecker! My back! It's cured! It's a miracle! Whoopee! Yeah! What do you got for my saggy skin? <gasps> Nothing helps that saggy skin of yours like a good soak in an herbal bath. <sighs> now you add your sour cream and, uh, oh, canned yams are always good. Bam! Kosher pickles, oatmeal, poultry, fresh fruit, seafood. Thicken with flour. Add parsley, sage, rosemary, and time. And now to finish it off, a little splash of hot sauce. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yes! Oh, oh, hot, 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 hot! Simmer under cover until well done. Finally, the beach. <laughs> now that's what I call a skin toner. And thanks for lunch. <laughs> What's it gonna take to get fired around here? And now, a cure for your rundown constitution. This electromagnet is guaranteed to attract positive karma and repel negative ions. Maybe I got your energy flowing a bit too much, huh? Uh... <laughs> what, Pecker? My ions feel better than they have in years. I'm cured, and you've done it all for me! I, uh, I have? Er, you mean, I can go? It's a miracle, everybody! I tell you, I never felt better in my life! Well, it looks like the doctor's ordering sun, sand, and surf for this woodpecker. <laughs> woodpecker! Miss Meanie told me you could cure the corns on my bunions, yeah? Hey, palsy, could you whip up something for my post-nasal depression? Oh, Leave my ears, 